It's 2021, which means there was just a CSGO major, and apparently the UMP still exists. All in all, it's not necessarily a bad weapon, but as the weapon text implies, it is the misunderstood SMG of the group, or in its current state, the outclassed one. Let's look at the stats. According to Sloth Squadron's fantastic weapon spreadsheet, the UMP-45 does 35 base damage, pretty good so far, the highest of the SMGs. This however is quickly countered, as the damage falloff is also the highest of the SMGs, dropping at whopping 25% at 500 hammer units. Along with this, it also has the smallest magazine size of 25, and the lowest fire rate. So at a price of 1200, you're buying a harder hitting, slower fire rate, and close range SMG. This sounds decent for 1200, but let me remind you that these bad boys are in the game. So how have the pros seen and used this weapon then? Well, in the last three years, it's dropped from a pretty decent 2% of the weapon usage pie to not even showing up in the main items and being relegated to the other category. This almost directly correlates with the weapon's big nerf in 2017, going from a weapon to rival rifles at range and an absolute monster to barely being used. So why is it no longer used? After all, it still does very respectable damage and can still win rounds. The answer? The MP9 and sort of the back 10, but basically the benefits of this weapon, the higher damage, is outclassed by the higher damage per second output of the MP9 due to its insanely high fire rate, and for only $50 more, cash strap CTs can hold close corners, melting their AK equipped opponents, and have a bonus of 5 more bullets to help clean up spray transfers. Sure, the MP9 has a much higher recoil, but at close range you can essentially mindlessly spray with the weapon, so this gives the MP9 a more practical role in the game while the UMP still thrives at short to mid range, a niche but realistic situation. So what could awaken the UMP from its mediocre slumber? Well, we've already seen what giving this thing more range can do, so that's our question. The main problem with this weapon, and really the SMG class in general, is that it's outshined by other similar weapons, and has very few unique gameplay possibilities, which makes the weapon boring. So I propose that the UMP-45 gets a magazine size buff, Nothing too crazy, just a 30. I think that at first this wouldn't affect gameplay all that much, but as players matured with the weapon, we could start seeing more interesting ways of this weapon being used. For example, more wallbangs. It could be a cheap wallbang machine, with its higher damage and easy recoil pattern. Additionally, this could also allow the weapon to be better in 1vx situations, as picking off the far enemy with the higher damage and then finishing off their friends with a larger magazine could be really interesting. So what do you guys think? Is the UMP just fine how it is, or would you change it? And if so, what would you change? That's all I have for you today. A huge thanks to everyone who is still subscribing, watching, and supporting this channel in general. There will be more videos to come shortly where I actually talk about my absence in depth. Thanks for watching, have a great night, and as always, bye.